<laughs> Hello and welcome back to Jim Johnson Reviews the World, where it's my channel, so I'll do whatever the heck I want. Today, here on Cook It and Eat It, box mac and cheese. Fancied up, gussied up for adults. If you want to see how to take and make that boring, ordinary mac and cheese out of a box and make it delicious and the thing for adults and for the a kind of suiting palate. Stick with me now, and we're gonna make it. Here on Cook It and Eat It. All right, we're cooking mac and cheese for adults only today. This mac and cheese is triple X rated for yum, yum, yum. First thing you're gonna need, two boxes of any kind of store-bought mac and cheese mix, preferably the kind with the cheese sauce inside. Go ahead and open those up. Take out the cheese sauce packets, set aside for later. Need a bag of cauliflower. This one is, this one's about 12 ounces. Go ahead and take that out, let that start thawing up. And then you're gonna need a minimum of a half pound, up to a pound of shrimp, peeled, deveined, and detailed. These actually came peeled and deveined, but not detailed. These are also pre-cooked, so they won't go until the very end of this recipe. Boil up your noodles with them till they are perfectly springy and al dente. Drain. Rinse over cold water to cool off. Set those aside. Put your pot back on low medium heat. Get your small sauce pot like this one. Put that on very low heat. We're gonna get started on putting this together. Folks, I skipped the whole cooking the macaroni part because I figured by now, you know how to salt, boil water, put a little oil in, cook noodles till al dente. All right, I went ahead and I opened up that cauliflower and I made sure to break it down into all relatively bite-sized pieces, which is a good thing. Um, this particular bag was awfully stemmy. So it's good to have a chance to break those stem pieces down into nice bite-sized pieces for cooking. I increased the heat on this to a solid medium or 50% power of what this uh, device allows. And we're going to add in some butter, about a tablespoon, give or take. We're gonna add about a tablespoon, no, about a half a tablespoon to two thirds of a tablespoon of butter to the small toss pot. Almost called it a toss pot, that's something completely different. All right, get that butter mostly melted and distributed. Go ahead and toss in your cauliflower. All right, while we're cooking the cauliflower, pre-cooking the cauliflower, we're gonna keep the lid off. We're gonna give this a very light shake of seasoned salt, about a half teaspoon of oregano, about a half teaspoon of garlic powder, about a half teaspoon of basil, and about a quarter teaspoon of lemon pepper. Actually, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this up. This is four, so this is a full-on medium-high heat now. Get that butter incorporated, get those seasonings mixed through. Yeah, that looks good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna cook this, uh, cook this cauliflower up, and we're gonna get going. This one's actually too too warm. Turn that down for a minute. Now this is gonna be our magic sauce, our magic cheese sauce. I wanna add to my butter about two tablespoons of water, and then we're gonna go in with the two packets of cheese sauce. Go ahead and take the time to squeeze all that goodness out. Take like a time on the video. We'll magically be back when all the cheese sauce is added. All right, all the cheese is in the pool, and this is looking like some basic mac and cheese with cauliflower added so far. I did give that cauliflower a couple stirs. We're gonna kind of roast that off and brown it a bit. And now it's time to get to Jim's favorite part. What is it, everybody? Never miss an opportunity to add more flavor. The rest of this is where we get from mundane, everyday mac and cheese with the kids to adult triple X for excitement, delicious. Throw in another word for the triple X, whatever. <clears throat> But this is how we're gonna kick it up from kids mac and cheese to adult mac and cheese, even though it's still out of a box. Right here, we got our two packets. This is gonna be the ultimate awesome sauce, ultimate awesome cheese sauce. So far we've got in about a tablespoon of butter, a couple tablespoons of water, just to make sure things didn't get too clunky. Our two packets of cheese. Now we're gonna add in about eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Liquid smoke. Do not skip that one, you want that liquid smoke. Three good dashers of W sauce, that's Worcestershire sauce. And, depending upon your taste likes, anywhere from one tablespoon to a quarter cup of hot sauce. This is a generic Louisiana. I'm gonna go in with what I consider to be about two tablespoons worth. Kick it up a notch or two. And then, quarter of a cup, whatever kind of milk you have, this is actually almond. We wanna heat this nice and slow because we don't want anything to scorch with the cheese sauces. Now look at that, we're starting to get some browning on these veggies. All right, let's get all the liquid phase of this sauce incorporated and we'll be right back. 
All right, we got that sauce mostly incorporated. It's still heating, so it's still kind of breaking up a little bit in there. We got all that hot sauce, Worcestershire, and liquid smoke added in. Now we're going to add in flavor component of seasonings, all the kids in the pool. And while I stir this up a little, I'm going to tell you that that was approximately half teaspoon of parsley flakes, a quarter teaspoon or a heavy pinch of chili powder, a half teaspoon of basil leaves, a full teaspoon of garlic powder, a full teaspoon of chopped dried onion, a full teaspoon of cilantro leaves, a full teaspoon of oregano, and a full teaspoon of black pepper. So we got plenty of flavor at the party now. It's gonna be like there's a party in your mouth and everybody is invited. So we got that all incorporated. Now we wanna let this heat up slowly. And this is a good thing to use a spatula or a silicone type of implement for. Clamp that lid on, get it centered on the heat. Let's take a look at our cauliflower. Well, that's roasting off pretty nicely. It's getting some good char. That's going to add the flavor in the end. Right up a bit. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Go ahead and I'm going to turn that down to two and this is actually up to just over two. This would be a medium low heat. And this would be on the higher end of low moving towards medium. So all right, our vegetables are pretty much done, although it is still on lower end of medium power. Those are good to go. The sauce is just about heated through. It smells wonderful, it smells spicy right now, but also has all these uh, wonderful floral notes, herbal notes from the herbage. You can smell that liquid smoke in there. Whew, smells great. But I did put in a lot of hot sauce. I did put in a lot of garlic. I put in a lot of black pepper. This is gonna have a lot of bite to it right now. So to smooth some of that out and add a little bit more goodness, we're gonna put in about a half cup of sharp cheddar cheese. You wanna use the sharpest cheese you can find, really. But I'm just gonna put in about a half cup in all, but I'm gonna put in a good solid pinch at a time and work it in so we don't get lumpy or stringy sauce. So we're gonna keep this going until we get this half cup of cheese worked in, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We got that cheese sauce, that shredded cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, mostly incorporated into our cheese sauce. That's chilling for a minute. Now at this point, I have put my big pot back on to 50% power. That would be a solid medium high heat. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna dump our noodles back in, and we're doing this just because we wanna get any unnecessary excess moisture real quick cooked out of these nudes. Just let it chill like that for a minute, and then we'll stir it. Take a look at that sauce. Be a good time to have smell vision because this cheese sauce is some of the most amazing smelling cheese sauce I've ever smelt. And I got my shrimp back out. My shrimp this entire time I've been cooking have been sitting in the cold part of the refrigerator. They're back out to warm up just a little bit. What we're actually going to do is right before we add the cheese sauce to the macaroni, we're going to add the shrimp to the cheese sauce, stir them in, and add them to the macaroni. So we're going to let this do its thing just a couple to five more minutes. All right, our sauce is almost up to heat. How you can tell when your sauce is where you really want it to be to add it to things. Then you want to be mixing this pretty regularly. When you stop mixing, just let it chill for a minute. Just starting to see some bubbles coming up like it's getting ready to boil. That's where you want to be. And at this point, when you're mixing this macaroni and cheese all the way through, you do want to mix very gently down to the bottom. Bring up the bottom and the top. And again, the heat's on. Solid medium heat here. I do want to cook out just a little bit more of that excess moisture from these noodles. That way when we add the cheese sauce, these noodles will grab out of that cheese sauce and lock it in. From here on out, everything's going to move pretty fast, but we're done. So go ahead, go in with your whole shrimpies. Your choice, anywhere from a half a pound to a pound. Now, right in over top. Look at that. The cheese sauce. That's why I have a spatula. You can get all this goodness out of here quickly. All right, we got all that sauce out of there pretty much, as much as we can get reasonably. For me, because I want every last morsel of this awesome, saucy, spicy goodness. Down and around. At this point, we just want to stir this again, down and around, nice and gentle. Take your time. Move quickly at the same time, if that makes any sense. Oh my god, this smells amazing. Oh, this is why this part of the video, this is where the adult really comes in. Kids wouldn't want to have nothing to do with shrimp and spices and goodness. This is gonna, this is gonna, I can't even say on here what this is gonna do to your mouth. It's gonna be a gasm of some sort. Hopefully that's PG-13 enough for YouTube. All right, that looks like it's incorporated. At this point, we're gonna clamp the lid on, turn this down to two out of five, so that would be a medium low. And we're gonna give this just about two minutes, and we'll be back to taste it and see what happens. All right, that's been heating with the lid on for about two minutes. We're gonna go ahead and kill the heat. This is ready to serve. Ready to rock and roll hoochie coo. Give it one final stir, down and around. So much smells. This stinks real pretty. So many smells, so many aromas. Oh, it's just amazing. It's all right. We got our serving dish here. We're gonna spoon some out. Look at that though. Let's look at it. Oh my god. Put the 
the lid back on. And then just because it says for adults, adults only, we're going to go ahead and we're going to garnish with a little bit of parsley flake. Now take a look at that. Now tell me that isn't some beautiful mac and cheese made for adults only. Send the kids to bed, folks, because this one's going to get adulty. Mmm. My God. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. 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 I'll have what she's having. Woo. Oh, my God. Almighty in heaven. Oh, my God. Mmm. Spicy. Zesty. Cheesy. Creamy. Ugh. That shrimp, just a perfect little compliment to the whole thing. And that cauliflower, roasted off, just cooked enough, has a crunch to it still. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my god. Light me a cigarette, smack me on the fatty and call me Gertrude. That's about the best macaroni and cheese you're ever going to have, which came out the box. So good. So good. Oh my god. Oh. That is phenomenal. And yes. I ate about half the bowl that fast. By God Almighty. Whew. Folks, you might have been laughing when this started. What's this fool going to do making mac and cheese for adults out of a box? Well, I'll tell you what. Let me take off the glove, throw down the gauntlet, try it at home. If that ain't the best damn macaroni and cheese you ever had, especially which came out the box, hey, stop watching my videos because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Alrighty, everybody, that's enough of me making mouth noises. I want to thank you a lot for joining in, watching, cook it and eat it here on Jim Johnston Reviews the World today. This has been Box Mac and Cheese for adults only. If you like my stuff, I'd really like you to comment below. See that little comment section? Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Let me know you like it or you lump it. Check me out. Facebook and Instagram, both of them. Jim Johnston reviews the world all smashed together into one word like. Subscribe to this page and check out my new playlists I've added. You can now binge watch every episode of Cook It and Eat It from the beginning all the way through to the end of 2020 all at once. And then in 2021, we'll start a new playlist for 2021. And also new playlists for Jim Reviews Stuff. That's our new specials out on Thursdays where I review products. You've probably by now seen me review this ovenite double burner cooktop cooker thing. I don't really know what to call it. It's kind of like a cable top stove, but it's whatever. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you one more time for tuning in today. And we'll see you next time here on Cook It and Eat It.